hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be solving another sql lead code go check out our lead code playlist i have solved a couple of sql lead codes over there go check it out it would be very helpful and without further ado let's just begin with today's question also do not forget to hit the notification button so that you never miss any video from this channel so today's question is about confirmation rate so we have two tables over here one is signups and the other one is confirmations signups table has user id and timestamp confirmations table has these three columns user id timestamp and action and we need to find the confirmation rate now let's see the sample table and sample output so these are our two tables so these are the signups that we have the user ids are 3726 and the second table confirmations has these three columns user id timestamp and action and this is the output and we need to get the confirmation rate and this is the explanation so i will explain how these confirmation rates are calculated for six for user id six there is no record in the confirmations table hence the confirmation rate is zero for user id 3 there are two records and both of them are timeout hence the confirmation rate is zero because confirmation rate of a user is the number of confirmed messages divided by the total number of requested confirmation messages so since there are no confirmed actions for user id 3 the confirmation rate will be zero for user id 7 there are four actions four records with confirmed action and there are total four actions for that particular user id which means four by four which is one for user id 2 there are two records one is confirmed and one is timeout so there is just one confirmed action and there are total of two actions for user id there are total of two records for user id 2 which means 1 by 2 which is 0.5 as you can see over here user 2 made two requests where one was confirmed and the other timed out hence the confirmation rate is 1 by 2 user 7 made three requests three requests and all were confirmed so 3 by 3 which is 1 also there are a few more criterias the confirmation rate of a user that did not request any confirmation messages is zero so as you can see over here there was no record for user id 6 in the confirmation table but still our output had that our output still had user id 6 with confirmation rate zero so this is one criteria that, that even though the user has not made any confirmation messages it should still print zero in the output and round the confirmation rate to two decimal places as you can also see in the sample output we have two decimal places so let's begin with writing the solution for this but i would highly recommend you pause the video and try to solve this question on your own and then come back to the video to see the solution let's start with the solution now we need to find out count of confirmed action we need to find count and then we have a criteria which means we need to use case statements with aggregate functions so let's write that select sum case when action is equal to confirmed i have a complete video of aggregate functions with case statements it is quite useful so go check it out case when action is equal to confirmed then one else zero and end it over here and and we will be using sum over here because one or zero will be added we could also use a count statement but i am using sum so so this will give me total of confirmed messages comma and now i need count of Count of records so i will write the column name action and this will give me total records from this table confirmations 
and we need to group it by user id let's see what is the output let's also select user id So for each user ID, we have printed total confirmed and total actions. For 3, total confirmed is 0 because for user ID 3, there are no confirmed actions. Hence, total confirmed is 0 and total action is 2 because we have two records over here. For 7, total conf confirmed actions is 3 and total actions is also 3. For user ID 2, we have one confirmed action. That is in our output and we have total total of two records for user id 2 but we are missing user id 6 now how can we get user id 6 over here by joining these two tables so let's do that i will be selecting from the table i will be writing the table signups over here s left join we are using left join because we need all the records from this table even if any record is not present in the second table because that is our condition. We need to print data for user id 6 even though user id 6 does not exist in the confirmations table. We will be joining it on user id because, because they are in both the tables. dot user id let's run this user id is ambiguous because user id exists in both the table and we are just simply selecting user id over here without an alias so we need to mention the alias we will be using the alias s because we need all the user ids from this table and now we have user id 6 over here as well now all we need to do is we need to divide total confirmed by total action so all we need to do is a simple division let's add this in a cte with CTE confirm as this would be a CTE select we need user ID we need to divide total confirmed by total actions from CTE confirm we need to group it by user ID and this is our output but there are two things that we need to fix First of all, we cannot have a null over here. It needs to be zero. And the second thing that we need to fix is the confirmation rate needs to have two decimal places. So let's fix these two things. Also, the name of the column should be confirmation rate. And let's use an Let's use, let's use Colace to fix the null issue. In case you do not know what is Colace, Colace is used to handle null values. So anything in the first parameter, if that returns null, it will be replaced by whatever is in the second parameter. So if this is returning null, instead of 
showing null as output colays will show zero as output so this issue should be fixed and the second thing that we need to fix is we need to add a decimal place we need to add two decimal places so let's use the function round and let's run it so what this will do is round the first parameter is this complete thing and it will just add two decimal places over here run and this has been accepted let's submit this and it has been accepted i hope this was helpful and if it was please make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video comment down share it with your friends and do check out other playlists on the channel and also check out our sequel ebook with that i will end this video thank you so much for watching